All right, take these matches, for example. If I was to rub this match against the striking strip gently, nothing happens. But if I strike the match against the striking strip, it crosses the threshold of activation energy required to initiate the chemical reaction and light the match. <laughs> kind of breathe it in. Now, one of the most important aspects of activation energy is that in a lot of cases, you need enough of it, not just to initiate the reaction, but to actually power the reaction through to its conclusion. Now, if I wanted to get a sizable fire going by holding this match up to a big log, the log wouldn't catch. But if I lit some newspaper on fire and then to that newspaper, I added some small sticks and then maybe some bigger sticks, I could sustain and grow the reaction long enough to get a nice fire going. You see, this idea of needing enough energy to power the reaction through to its conclusion is why revolutions are so difficult and often unsuccessful. 